Hi guys, how you all doing? Hope everyone is doing well. So today's video, I just wanted to come and just bring to you some of my current favorites, just because I thought I haven't done a favorites video in a while on my channel. So yeah, I've got a lot, <laughs> I've got a lot, okay? And I've just noticed how much I've got, but I've got a lot of stuff here to show you. And I've just been like playing around with makeup and you know, trying out, you know, more of the newer things in my collection and older things in my collection. And yeah, I've just got a lot, I've got a lot, okay? So yeah, let's get into it. So I have recently gone back to using the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm as a primer for my skin. If you watch, you know, beauty videos, you know that Nikki Tutorials, if you know, you should know who she is. Uh, she's the one that kind of introduced the beauty world to this particular product. And it's basically a men's post shave balm, but if you use it on your face and you rub it in a small amount and you rub it in it becomes very tacky to your on your skin so it allows your makeup to stick and stay on for longer i used to really love this and then i used a whole bottle up i think and then i just didn't use it again but, and i have been using it recently so yeah i've been really liking this really cheap as well like they're always doing an offer on this or some sort um but i think i got mine for about three pounds something in the shop or four pounds something or even less than that so a couple of foundations or a few foundations i just want to quickly mention i've been really really liking recently now the first one that i want to talk to you about is one that in my foundation collection video i said i didn't really like it because it gave me a great cast but after that filming that i you know i was determined to use it because this thing ain't cheap okay so i was determined to use it and i don't know i found that i could make it work for me so anyway it's the mark jacobs uh, remarkable foundation and that's just what it looks like there. My shade is shade Coco Medium. Okay, so can you see that there? It can get a bit messy, but it comes with like a applicator like that and then you just like dot it on your face or you can dot it on the back of your hand and then just use it. When I say you need like the smallest amount of this particular foundation, you need the smallest amount, okay? I think what I used to do was put too much on and that was why it wasn't really working for me. And I literally just put four dots onto my face and that's all I need for full coverage. And it lasts so long on my skin, so I've been loving it. In terms of the gray cast, I haven't been seeing it as much, okay, um, since I filmed that video. So it might just be the amount that I was putting on that made me get the gray cast. I know that the the deeper shade to this one definitely gives a great cast, but this particular one hasn't been so bad for me. Another foundation that I have been really liking recently as well has been this one, which is by, by Terry. And uh, it's the By Terry Cover Expert Foundation. I really like this. This is, it gives quite a full coverage. It lasts for quite a long time as well, but it, it's not like completely matte. It gives you a nice skin-like, finish as well so yeah I really like it it's like a velvety finish so it's not completely matte I got this one from Space NK and Space NK were doing this for 11 pounds and this is originally 45 45 pounds yes guys and I got a lot of these foundations I'm just saying yeah really liking it I think the reason it was reduced in price is because they've got a newer version which has SPF in it and this one doesn't but I still like this one. I mean, it was 11 pounds, guys. Like, I wasn't gonna say no. So yeah, I really, really like that. Another foundation I'm gonna talk about is this one, and I don't know why I put it back in the box, but this is the new NARS um, foundation, which I really like, and it's the NARS Skin Tint, I think it is. Velvet Matte Skin Tint, and I actually really like this. Now, it's it says Velvet Matte, so it's not, you know, if you're one that loves the complete matte look, then this isn't gonna give you that, okay? However, don't be afraid by it saying it's a skin tint either because even though it says it says it's a skin tint, it works quite like a medium to full coverage foundation. It is really, really, really good. Like I said, I wouldn't say it's completely matte, but it just looks really nice on the skin personally for me. I really like this. Uh, yeah, so I definitely would recommend it. It's definitely one of my more one of my favorite foundations from NARS. My shade is Martinique. Martinique is the medium to dark three 
shade so yeah it works it works well for me so yeah I've been loving this one recently too okay so sticking with foundations quickly I just wanted to mention this now this unfortunately isn't in the UK yet I don't think but this is the new Lancome Taint Idolé uh, stick foundation so it's basically the Lancome foundation but in a stick version and yeah I've been loving this I think I showed you guys in a haul my last haul that I did that I picked this up and yeah I, I like this because it's an easy thing to travel with like if I'm traveling and I don't want to take you know my big bottles of foundation that can leak everywhere I would just take this and pick it up and just go with it now I wouldn't say it's as good as the original Taint Idolé Ultra 24 hour foundation it's not as good as that because I find that this one actually leaves me a bit oily um, but in terms of traveling I found that this is perfect for traveling and if you're not one that loves like liquid foundation because not everybody wants liquid foundation then this could be something you could uh, try out for yourself I got mine from Sephora which you know you can order from Sephora online okay now I've been loving this which is a bronzer it's the terracotta bronzer and this particular shade that I have is shade number seven and I really like this it's it's one that I use nearly every day well yes I'd say I'd use this nearly every day um, I've nearly hit pan I can definitely see do you know when you can start to see the, the um, circles inside your pan yeah I, I can definitely tell that I'm going to hit pan very soon on this and for good reason because it is just so 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 gorgeous on the skin it has like a slight shimmer to it as well but it's such a beautiful shade and it works so nicely on my skin it doesn't give me like a dark contour kind of look it just warms up my skin and it's great for deeper skin tones definitely so if you're deeper skin tone and you're thinking to yourself you don't know where to get a bronzer from I would definitely try out the Guerlain terracotta bronzers because they are definitely worth it I picked mine up when they were in the cell I think I got mine for 18 pounds something in a cell so definitely check them out when they're in a cell or wherever you know whenever you can get some money off I got mine from essentials I think dot com and essentials always do a sell so just keep looking on there for when they do their sales and you can pick one up but okay something else I've been really liking which has been around for years but I've only taken notice of it I'm not gonna lie because Kathleen Knights recently mentioned it in one of her videos and it's the which is a it's a very grubby <laughs> grubby RCMA no color powder and uh, this particular powder is really really good now it says it's no color and it truly is I mean if you put on too much it can leave that kind of white cast however I find that this particular powder works really well for me now I picked up oh my gosh I've got like powder everywhere now I picked up the which one 10 ounce one and inside it's just like a white powder inside if you're gonna see that there so if I just show you it can you see that so when you dust it on it just disappears into your skin can you see so you don't get any like white residue or white powder on your skin or anything so it just works well so if you're ever wondering does this work on the deeper skin tones it does as I just showed you there it just disappears into your skin it's gorgeous it's so nice I use this near enough daily now just all over my face um yeah I just use it all over really lightly all over my face and I have to say it keeps my face mattified and it keeps me but it doesn't keep me matte as in dry looking it still makes my face look velvety if that makes sense so it's kind of got like a satin matte finish to it which is which I love um yes yeah, so I'm using it today as well but I'm also using the Topaz the translucent powder which I've also been loving as well recently so both those powders I've been loving Topaz just because um when I put concealer under my eyes I just want to use that to kind of set my under eye um which gives me a nicer setting kind of finish as opposed to using like a, a yellow banana powder which is a bit too two out there this is great for deeper skin tones so yeah i've been using both of those powders and really loving it I only use topaz on days when i'm using like heavy makeup but the rcma powder this one i use near enough daily i just love it okay so i just want to talk about some blushes that i've been loving so the first one that i'm going to talk about is this now sorry this is grubby i use all my makeup guys apologies for things not looking you know the best but this palette here is my la femme 
blusher palette and uh, I've had this for a while now as you can see I use it quite a bit but this is my blusher palette that I love now as you can tell this has like really bold blush colors in it I tend to stick to stay down this end of my blusher palette um, just because these ones are really bold and uh, yeah I would probably use these more as eyeshadows but the blusher that I've been loving is this one here which I'm sorry I can't remember the name of it but um, it's like this brown kind of rose tone it's gorgeous for an everyday look it is beautiful and sometimes I mix it with this orange shade here these two mixed together are just gorgeous but these these blushes are so pigmented guys um, if I quickly swatch the two blushes I'm talking about so you can kind of see that it's like a brown kind of tone um, gorgeous can you see that it just gives me the nicest like natural look for my skin tone as a blusher and then this orange tone here you can see it is gorgeous as well can you see that can you see so it's not so intense these are customizable blushes so you can just I just selected a whole bunch of random ones and uh, yeah I made my own palette over time Another blusher that I have been loving as well has been uh, this which is Sketch. Now I really want to get Film Noir because I think that would be a really gorgeous like contour for deeper skin tones but this particular one is Sketch by MAC and uh, this is what I'm wearing today and it is super dark. When I, I'm, I've, whenever I've worn this I've had people ask me what's on your cheek, what's on your cheeks and it's this. It's this blusher and today that's what I'm using that's the darker tone that you can see like the uh, shadow tone that you can see it's this blusher you literally need the tiniest amount of this can you see that I literally dabbed my finger into that and yeah it came <laughs> you literally need the tiniest amount of this on your skin otherwise it will look like you were bruised when you're wearing it especially if you're darker than me this will be gorgeous on your skin tone if you're darker than me you you can afford to go heavier um you know heavy-handed but for me i can't because it just looks like i've been bruised and the last blusher that i'm going to talk about is my chanel blusher and it's the chanel sunkiss ribbon blusher and oh my gosh guys it is gorgeous so let me just show you if you've not seen the chanel ribbon blusher this blusher is absolutely beautiful so i got this recently as well about a couple of months ago i think i got this and it is a gorgeous blusher i love the fact that it has like four no one two three four five different shades in this my favorite in this is this orange shade which is right at the bottom there it's such a gorgeous gorgeous shade but unfortunately they didn't make they didn't put enough of that for me when you swatch it it comes out really nice on the skin it gives me a very subtle blush color um it's not heavy at all it's quite subtle i don't know how well i don't think you can even see it that well but i have been wearing it in videos and you can definitely tell i've got blusher on when i'm wearing it but as i said it's not it's not a heavy blusher so been loving that and it has like a it has like a subtle rose scent to it which i think is gorgeous as well so that's the new chanel sunkiss ribbon blusher so i want to talk about some highlighters that I've recently, um, that I've been loving. And the first one I picked up from TK Maxx randomly. I didn't even know they had it in there. I just saw it and came across it. So I decided to pick it up. And it's this one, it's the Physicians Formula Sexy Booster, Sexy Glow Bronzer. And even though it's a bronzer on me, it comes out as a highlight. And I love, love, love this highlight. Now this is one of my most subtle highlights I own. Like I can wear this particular highlight on a daily basis and I don't look like you know too overdone and then on the back of it which I've just noticed there's a mirror uh, there and you've got a brush as well which I didn't even realize there was there so yeah <laughs> I didn't even notice that before until just now so this highlighter is gorgeous and if I just show you how it comes out on me as I said it's like a subtle subtle glow and can you see that can you see that so that's it there so i think i picked it up for like four pounds in in um tk maxx so i was so impressed by that so this was definitely a surprise 
find. Um, we don't have physician's formula here in the UK and we can't access it quite easily. So, you know, having TK Maxx where they kind of store products like that is great because we can't get them otherwise. Another highlighter that I've been really liking has been this one, which is Autograph Highlighter from Marks and Spencers. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous highlight, guys. This one I picked up from someone that was selling their highlight, this one, and I have to say I love it. Can you see that? It is such a beautiful, beautiful highlight and the, the pattern as well is gorgeous. It gives you a bit of a shimmer. This one's a bit more intense than the Physicians Formula one, but other than that, it's still quite a good, good, good highlight. And it's quite affordable. I'm not sure if they still sell this one. The Pure Luxe Powder Highlighter in Golden Rose and it is truly, truly, truly beautiful. So yeah, been loving that as well. Another one I've been really, really liking is this one. And this is the a newer one from Colourpop and it's the K-Pop Glow Up Highlighter. And I have to say, I'm in love with this one. I haven't really been a fan of Colourpop eyeshadows or highlighters. I just don't like the... I just don't like this kind of formula, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, I'm just not a fan, great fan of them. I think they're good, but I just don't, I don't know. They're just not my kind of shadows or whatever. But this highlighter, oh my gosh, guys, it is amazing. It is so, so, so intense. It gives you like the most intense, like bronzy glow. Oh, it is gorgeous. Can you see it? So that's it there at the bottom. And when I put this on, the intensity is amazing. I'm definitely, definitely impressed by this one. So yeah, I've been loving that. And then lastly for highlighters, I just wanted to quickly mention this limited edition one by Burberry. And I, I don't know what's been wrong with me and Burberry recently, but I've basically been like buying all of the Burberry limited edition highlighters. I don't know because they came out with a whole bunch of new highlighters, I think three, and they're like lace ones, like lace detailed highlighters, and they are gorgeous, guys, gorgeous. If you have seen my Instagram pictures, you would have seen them, so make sure you follow me on Instagram to know what I'm talking about. But the one I've been really using a lot is this one, which is the Burberry London With Love illuminating bronzer so it's like highlighter bronzer but of course on me it's just a highlighter but it's gorgeous it is so so beautiful and it smells so good as well it's gorgeous i use both shades and it gives me more of a subtle highlight color but it's beautiful as well it reminds me not it doesn't remind me of the physician's formula but it's like subtle like that so yeah that's it there at the bottom right there so i just use that when I want something that's not so intense as well. And also, can I just mention the casing? It's like a gold packaging. How gorgeous is that? It's so, so beautiful. So yeah, I've been loving, loving, loving Burberry highlighters, but in particular, I've just been playing around with this one more. And then another highlighter that I wanna quickly mention is this, and this is the Ambient Lighting Palette. Uh, and I've, again, been playing around with this one for a long time, and I never, purchase this because I used to think oh this will never work on my skin tone but it really does guys and it does actually make a difference like when you put this on it just gives you I don't know it just makes your skin appear more radiant if that makes sense so it doesn't necessarily give you that like highlighted look everywhere it depends which uh, which powder you use so there are three different powders in here the one in the middle definitely will give you more of that intense highlight but the other two will give you more of a like i'd say more, more of like a radiant glow um to your skin or just give you that extra dimension so yeah i've been loving this and i tend to use the two outer shades more i don't really use the middle shade because i'm not i don't really like it as a highlight but the two outer shades i would use it under my eyes and anywhere that i've put like concealer and i will just use it to just kind of lift my look um or sometimes i just use it all over my face but it doesn't give me like a shimmer all over my face if that makes sense it's really really nice i definitely would recommend these this palette to you it is quite splurgy as well so 
there are dupes out there you know like makeup revolution has actually recently come out with no they ha already have their dupes to these powders which i'm going to show you in, in in an upcoming video okay so i just want to quickly mention a contour palette that i've been really liking and it's the mark jacobs contour palette and this is the hi-fi filter palette it's the darkest one that they do now i really like this it doesn't give me that intense contour um shade so this particular one on this side it's not like an intense contour it's not dark enough for my skin tone to be an intense contour however it does still give me a contour it gives me like a a light kind of contour where i can wear it and it doesn't look like i have actually like made that much of an effort to contour it just gives me like a natural look which i really like so yeah i've been really liking that this contour shade and it blends really really well as well with my skin now this this shade here this uh powder the brightening powder i'm not a fan of really i don't know it has more like a peach tone to it which i don't know for me it just appears ashy under my eyes i don't know to me it's not a nice color and actually if you didn't know you can now get mark jacobs in the uk and uh it's stocked they're stocked in harrods so yeah that's where i've got all my mark jacobs stuff okay, so let's quickly move on to some eye products so the first product i will talk about is this this is my favorite favorite eyebrow product okay now i thought i'd found a favorite in my pen my eyebrow pencils and pomades and all of that but not until i tried out the kaylin Gilux eyebrow product and what shade am i in i'm in the shade oak and this is what i'm using today and i have been using this probably in all my videos for the past i don't know how many months but i have been loving this now it's a gel okay um here when you open it up that's the brush which i always use to do my eyes and i love and then when you actually open it up in the tub you can see the gel product on the inside okay it's a hard gel so it's not a creamy gel it's a hard gel and uh, i have loved this and i've been using it for months and i'm not even halfway through it it's it feels dry when you're using it but you are picking up product and it's very pigmented as well and it lasts it doesn't budge when i'm wearing it like it doesn't transfer or anything and it just it's my color and it just works so well i really like it now unfortunately i don't know where to get kaylin in the uk i need to research that a bit more but i got this in a um i think it was from love me beauty online they were selling it in because in the subscription box you can select what you put in and they had Kaylin cosmetics as part of the selection and i just put it in my box one day and decided to try it out and i've loved it ever since so i'm looking for where i can actually buy the this on its own um in the from the uk because i need another one i need to stock up on this okay my favorite mascara well it's not really my favorite mascara but a mascara that i've been really liking recently is actually this one which is a surprise the falsies push-up drama now when i first used this i didn't think i liked it but the more i used it the more i noticed they actually like lengthened my lashes um yeah and i really like it it can be a bit clumpy but i really like the brush because it's like those the plastic bristle brush so yeah i'd say check it check it out i mean i have seen some people say they don't like it but i don't know i guess mascara is just one that you either like it or you don't you know it just depends on the type of brush that you like and the formula but yeah for me it has worked really nice and a second mascara that i have been liking recently is this one which i've heard a lot of people talk about it's the mac extended play giga black lash mascara and yeah i've been liking this one too i would say that um this one i would definitely say i have been preferring it for my lower lashes which a lot of people say that yeah use it for the lower lash and definitely it works really nice for your lower lash that's what i'm using today um I wouldn't use it on my top lashes just because it's such a small wand that I just think it works better and it does definitely help lengthen out my lower lashes so I have been loving that as well recently so I'm going to talk about this quickly and this is the Milani what is it the new Milani eyeshadow palette um it's called the everyday eyes eyeshadow collection okay and they're the new Milani eyeshadows I bought two of them 
and uh, the one I've been using and I'm actually using today as well is this one and it's the number five earthy elements one and the reason I've been loving it is because of this orange shade in there it's gorgeous now these these eyeshadows are very pigmented Milani eyeshadows are actually really quite nice anyway but you can kind of see like the pigmentation of these shadows is actually really nice so I've been loving loving them can you see that there yeah so just generally quite nice shadows not expensive I think I bought this from cocktail cosmetics I believe and it is eight pounds 95 I think so not cheap but you know affordable another eyeshadow palette that I've been really liking has been <laughs> the other side of the spectrum has been um, my Viseart palette or Visart is it Viseart or Visart palettes and uh, the one I've been loving is my number four dark matte eyeshadow palette and um, this has been I've been loving it just simply because I really love these colors here okay and I love these colors here because these are great transition colors for deeper skin tones so I would pick out I would pull up this palette um, and have it alongside me with any of my other eyeshadow palettes just because I can use these tones and I've also been loving the darker shades for when I do my smoky eyes and you guys have been seeing me do a few smoky eye looks on my channel like when I'm doing my videos and it's basically been using a lot of these shadows to like deepen up my eyes so yeah I've been loving this palette because I it's just one that I would pick out and use with another palette so yeah definitely try these visor eyeshadows they are so 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 worth it guys I know they're expensive but yeah I would say I mean if you can get it on sale definitely try and pick it up on sale Guru Makeup Emporium were recently doing a sale where these were like half price nearly so always look out for deals on these guys always look out for them but I would recommend if you can get it definitely try them out at least one palette um, but I definitely would recommend this one and if I just quickly swatch a couple of the shades for you so you can see what I'm talking about in terms of the pigmentation of these can you see that can you see so so pigmented love 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 these eyeshadows Okay, other eyeshadows I have been loving, which you guys already know, if you follow me on Instagram, if you've watched my my recent videos, then you would have known I've been talking about these eyeshadows. And these are the eyeshadows by Belfiore Cosmetics. And I have loved these so much, guys. Beautiful shadows. Watch my video, I will link it below, um, where I go into so much more detail, but these are so, so gorgeous. They're, they're so pigmented great quality very affordable eyeshadows yes they are in the US but they are very affordable so if you are based in the US definitely try them out if you're not based in the US you can get them ordered and shipped to the UK but you know I've just swatched some on my hand right there can you see them like so 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 worth it guys I'm telling you I do have a code for this as well so if you want to try them out you're more than welcome to try them out using my code but I have loved them and yeah I just thought I'd let you know that yes I am still raving about them because I do do really like them. another palette that I've been really 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 liking and for a good reason I have to like this because I spent so much money on these palettes guys um, it's my Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes now I have done a blog post on these so if you want to see you know more about them and you know what they're about how much they are all of that okay I will link my blog post down below take a visit to my blog because I am starting to upload more regularly on my blog so I want to kind of incorporate a lot more reviews on my blog as well so definitely check out my reviews on the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. I do have three palettes from Natasha Denona um, and I've got both of the 28 pan eyeshadow palettes and uh, the one I've been really, really, really liking is the purple blue palette. I think it's, no, blue purple palette or purple blue palette. I don't even know what it's called. I think, I think that's what it's called. Uh, but it's basically this one. I have been loving, loving, loving this one. For some reason, it doesn't look as messy as I thought it was because, you know, I have been using this quite a bit. But these eyeshadows are so pigmented. I'm not ever going to tell you guys that you must buy these palettes because to be quite honest they're so ridiculously expensive that I would never tell you to go and buy these but I have to say I do love them can you see the duochrome on that particular shadow there oh my gosh it is so gorgeous guys these eyeshadows I would say are definitely definitely 
definitely up there in terms of quality. Four of the shades swatched there and I will just show you what they look like when I swatch them on my hand. Can you see that? Can you see the pigmentation guys? Like seriously, seriously? Look at that pigmentation, look. It is gorgeous, like these eyeshadows are so, so, so stunning guys. I just, I don't know, I'm just in love with them. I just love them so much. And I know I spent so, <laughs> I spent so much on them, so I cannot say I don't love them. And I will be talking about these for a very, very long time to come, okay? Just because I spent so much money on them. But I want to quickly talk about some concealers that I've been loving. The first one I have to say that is my favorite concealer, like, definitely like one of my top favorite concealers is this one by Bare Minerals and it's the Bare Skin Concealer. I love this concealer guys. I never thought I would, but it is the new concealer that they came out with. It's called the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer and it's just, it is so good guys. It just, it comes out looking very, it comes out quite thick. Can you see that there? Um, but it doesn't feel heavy under my eyes. Like it just, comes out looking really it gives me a full coverage it's quite it's not watery but it it's a thick kind of watery consistency i don't know how to explain it very creamy but not like thick creamy consistency it's gorgeous and it blends really really nicely if i can show you that and when you blend it it doesn't like lose its coverage if that makes sense so you can blend it out and it maintains its coverage and as you can see for my skin tone this type of concealer works well so i use it under my eyes as an eye brightener like you know concealers are brighten under the eyes and like the forehead and the nose and the chin so it, i use it for that and it doesn't give me like this ashy like bright too bright a look that I you know that you know some of us can sometimes wear and it doesn't work well this one just comes out looking so natural okay can you see that it, like it gives me a brightening look but it's not like too far away from my skin tone okay so I'd say it's at least a shade and a half lighter than my skin tone and that is perfect gorgeous 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 color this is dark to deep okay this particular shade and I I think that's their deepest one I think I'm not sure but anyway this is the dark to deep shade and I love it I got mine from again essentials when essentials were doing like 20% off I think it was um I can't remember the actual price of this originally but definitely try and pick it up if you know if you're looking for a, a good concealer love it really been loving that another concealer that I've been loving is this which is the Estee Lauder perfectionist youth brightening serum and concealer so basically this has on one side a serum like this which is like an orange based kind of color it's like a brightening serum so you can put this like under your <coughs> foundation or something i don't i'm i'll be honest i don't tend to use this one the concealer that i really love is this side which is the actual concealer and it's a stick form can you see that so it's a stick format and i love it because it's such an easy concealer to use it's so quick and easy to use and again it's the same a similar color to the bare minerals one where it's not so brightening that it looks ridiculous on me um again it's like a shade or a shade and a half brighter than my skin tone which works well the shade that i'm using is the deep 5n deep neutral shade and i'm actually using that today for my um, under eye concealer and as you can tell it's not like too out there it just gives me a nice like natural concealer kind of brightening look which i really love oh i forgot to mention another foundation which is this that i've been loving recently more recently um and it's the milani conceal and perfect foundation and the shade that i'm talking about here is number 13 which is chestnut i did pick out another shade as well which i can't somehow i can't find but they do have a few shades for deeper skin tones which is great yeah this works really nice it lasts for a long time and actually the coverage is really good i'm very impressed by this and it's a two-in-one foundation and concealer so it does give you a good coverage and it comes in a pump as well which is fantastic and it comes in a glass bottle as well so this is like affordable but quality stuff in terms of the packaging and the product so it's really really good and it gives you like a 
it's not a matte finish but it gives you more like a satin velvet kind of finish but it does last for quite a long time so i was very impressed and the shading the shade matching for me actually works so well so a few <laughs> lip products i just quickly want to mention so i'll first of all start with this and this is a nyx simply vamp lip cream and uh, i have just been liking this because I wear this on top of like a darker color okay so this is shade enamored and it just gives you like a pearly purple kind of color it's gorgeous it's like a purple but it's like got brown in it as well it is it is a stunning stunning color and on top of any lip color it looks great I'm gonna put it on top of this color which I'm actually wearing which is the next thing I'm gonna talk about uh, chocolate wasted by dose of colors so I've been loving this one too but I'm just gonna show you what I mean can you see it just gives you like a like a pearly pearly kind of color it is beautiful so I've just been loving it not necessarily to wear on its own but I have been loving it to put on top of you know a darker color just to give me a bit more life in my lip color when it's a darker shade like the one i'm wearing today so been loving that I mentioned is the dose of colors chocolate wasted lip color which lip cream lipstick which has just recently come out and uh, yeah this is the one i've been wearing throughout the video and it's just literally a dark chocolate color like literally it's just a dark brown yeah, so that's it there. And I love the name of this as well, but I really love the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks because I think they apply really well and they last really long on my lips and they feel very comfortable on my lips as well. So I've been loving that. Another lip color I have been loving is this one, which is Stingray by Colourpop in collaboration with It's My Ray Ray. This color, I didn't think I would love it, but actually I was pleasantly surprised. So anyway, this is what Stingray looks like. And then on me, that's what it looks like there. So what I would typically do is just line my lips with like a brown lip liner and then put Stingray on top. And I have to say that Stingray were, is one of the most comfortable for ColourPop liquid lipsticks I have ever used. I have to say, when I wear it, it, I can't even feel it on my lips like it's so comfortable and it just completely different to other kind of liquid lipsticks that I have used in the past I feel like the newer formulas are much more comfortable than the older ones because the older ones I'm just not a fan of at all I do not like them they crumble they no they're not good but these this one in particular doesn't do that for me so, and once it's settled into my lips it comes out looking more like a brown mauve kind of color which is gorgeous so yeah I've been loving loving that one too and another liquid lipstick that I've been loving and I've been wearing so much recently and it's the new Milani matte lip creams and I have all 18 shades of those and I'm still trying to get my video filmed for those. I hopefully should have the video up very soon guys. But the one I've been loving a lot is the new shade called Covet, which is their new brown shade in that new line that they released. And uh, Covet is basically a more like a milk chocolate color. Uh, the chocolate wasted by dose of colors is more like a dark chocolate this is more of a milk chocolate color and I have been loving 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 that and it's a gorgeous gorgeous brown brown shade beautiful color really really been loving it and a lipstick that I've been reaching for and loving has been this which is a Kiko lipstick and it just looks like that and it is <clears throat> I'm not sure it's in the shade bergamot no bergamot is that the shade number 13 i don't even know what range this is in kiko but it's one of their like long lasting lipsticks and it just looks like this <clears throat> sorry i've got like a frog in my throat it just looks like that but the shade i'm not sure what shade it is it's like a brownie mauve pinky rose color <laughs> but yeah that's what it looks like there but let me just tell you one thing guys this this color does not budge like i can wear this all day and it doesn't go anywhere okay and i'm not even exaggerating it just feels like a liquid lipstick a matte liquid lipstick on my lips when i wear it like i don't, I don't know i don't understand but it just feels it just dries to a completely matte finish that it just doesn't come off and even when i'm like i'm getting ready to go to bed and i've still got it on i'm like scrubbing my lips to get it off 
amazing really really amazing color um and lipstick so yeah i've been loving that yes. now this is a looks like a toothbrush but it's not these are um artiste brush imitations on that i found on ebay and uh, it's called the Ma mange mange brush and uh, it's 876 it says, I don't even know, but it's this small brush. So I just use it to set my concealer with a powder and yeah, I think it works so well. I'm gonna try and get the full set um, of the brushes because apparently they're really good. But I have been really liking this and I'm pleasantly surprised. I think it was like one pound something or less than that on eBay. So yeah, and I got a few of these and I've had this for a few months now and I just haven't mentioned it or anything. But now I'm seeing like loads of people like buying them. But yeah, I, I really like them. So yeah, I will get the whole set and let you know my thoughts on that. I have been loving the Makeup Forever cases for um, depotting my eyeshadows and I'll just pick this one up. This one is one that I just depotted some eyeshadows in. But I just love them. I just think they're so easy to use. They're, the magnet in this is so strong. And it's very like light. Well, it can get a bit heavy, I guess. But it just works well. It's not like the same like a Z palette where you can see inside the um, case. But I don't need to see inside. I'm fine. I can label it up and stuff. It's fine. It works well. And it's much cheaper than a Z palette. And it's from Makeup Forever. And I just think they work really well. I got mine from... Where did I get mine from? I got mine from Guru Makeup Emporium um, online. So you can check them out there. I'll put the link down below. But I just think they're really cool. Like, I think this is like eight pounds or something. And they fit a lot of eyeshadows. Like, my Belfior ones are in one of these and these are just different ones I think these are my H&M eyeshadows and then I've got some MAC eyeshadows here now these particular palettes are by crowd color I think that's what they're called and uh, they're customizable magnetic palettes okay so I basically made a pledge to support crowd color so if you put in a pledge you would pledge whatever you wanted to pledge and then you would get an offer basically so by putting in pledge I managed to get three palettes magnetized palettes that I could customize and I also got let me quickly grab it and I also got a lipstick which has beauty breaks on it okay so this <laughs> this is my customized lipstick so the lipstick says beauty breaks on it and it's a gorgeous it's definitely my type of lipstick color it's like a gorgeous wine color beautiful beautiful color there um, I haven't used it yet to be honest uh, but really really liking that so you could get that they had like liquid lipsticks as well that you can customize so they're different sizes and you could just design what you wanted to put on them so I got this white one which is no longer white um, <laughs> but it just says be your own kind of beautiful on it there and then I got this one I didn't know what to put on these guys I kind of was doing it in a rush for some reason I didn't really think about it that much this one I've got more like a YouTube one which just says beauty breaks with Vicky on there and I've got how vain is that I've got my picture on there which I really like and then I've got like some palettes that I'm enjoying and I've got subscribe on there as well and inside it's just like a normal palette so it's got a mirror which is amazing and then you've got your magnet there on the inside there so I thought that looks really cool and then I've got um, this one which just says beauty breaks with Vicky and it's got like a kiss and a star on there um, and like a patterned kind of watermark background to it which is nice and again it's the same on the inside with the mirror okay and then on in the smaller one the whiter one I've actually put some eyeshadows yeah so yeah so I mean I can't remember but I think the most expensive is about 16 pounds or so so yeah you can make your own customize it design it on their website and then they'll print it and send it to you so it's really really cool great idea so I just thought why not try it out guys that is the end of the current favorites hopefully you found that to be interesting apologies that it's been so long since I filmed a favorites video I will see you in my next video which may be a haul a review I don't know okay but I'll see you in my next video very soon okay take care guys and see you soon bye ciao so these are all my eyeshadows all together